This paper aircraft is a classic with school children the world over because it's very simple to make but aerodynamically quite efficient. So again what we're going to do is we're going to take the paper and we're going to fold it lengthwise. We're going to put the top corners together, put the bottom corners together and then we're going to fold down the length of the paper. To get extra sharpness on the crease use a thumbnail just run that down the paper. We then open the paper out and we're going to fold in this edge to the center crease. And we repeat on the other side. So this edge here goes to the center crease. We then fold the paper over and this fold does not have to be particularly precise. Fold it over so it's a couple of inches from the bottom. And again we crease that. So this distance here, this amount here, does not have to be precise. Then we're going to fold this point to roughly about there. Again, precision is not absolutely required. And we're going to crease that edge. You'll notice that it does not go all the way to this point. We repeat on the other side, so we take that, fold down, we crease on the edge. We now have a flap of paper here, so we fold that up so that it's flush, that traps these layers of paper. We then fold, turn it over. So we have the bare side and we're going to fold it upwards along that crease line. And then to give it a regalo delta shape, what we do is we take this edge here and we're going to fold it so that it's now along there, along that edge. So take it down, fold it like so. Do the same on the other side. So turn over and repeat. So when we put this in flying position, pull the wings out. For the classic Delta Regalo type design, remember you're going to hold it up here, make sure these wings are curved up slightly, angled up. If you need a bit of extra lift, just lift those up to make it pull the nose up. So when you're throwing it, again, you're throwing it like a dart at a dartboard. So you're making sure the dart leaves your hand flat.